What's poppin' on right, fam? Up ball checking in here. And today we have a lot to discuss. Now let's jump right into it. First off, one time for the notification game. Dying in the comments, liking the video before the video even start. Y'all the real odd right, fam. Salute. Anyway, odd right, fam. I watched the Sue Sir versus T Top Bella. I gave it to T Top. Sue Sir was in that bag in the first round. I said, okay. The old Sue Sir bag. This is what I'm talking about, man. This is what the people want. Because the top tier has been slacking lately, and Smack continuing to book them. They showing up the battles unprepared, choking. And that's what happened to Sue Surf in the third round. My guy choked, man. So I got to give it to T-Top. And T-Top, hey, he brought his A-game. Salute to him, man. Anyway, top tiers, get back on your A-game, bro. These young niggas hungry, fam. Anyway, up first, we got that boy Gucci. Now, Gucci had an interview with the Breakfast Club, which was dope, bro. Y'all got to go check it out, man. Now, him and Angela Yee had a moment. It's going viral. I'm not going to post it on here. Because your boy, uh, about only three or four months in, doing commentary, the Breakfast Club going to sit back and be like, who the fool using our content? Strike him down. They going to take down my stuff, get my channel on strike. I ain't trying to deal with that. But with the help of the other fam, I continue to grow and get to the top one day to be mentioned with some of the top bloggers in the world. But I'm not going to do that by decent other blogs or, or talking down on the next person. That's not how I want to come up. I want to come up by grinding, man. And doing me. And with the help of the odd fam, I could do that. Salute to everybody grinding. But anyway, up first, like I said, that boy Gucci. Like him and Angela, he had an awkward moment. And he was like, yeah, man, Angela, you got history. And she was like, what? He was like, yeah, you used to be on my dick back in the day. And she was like, stop lying. He was like, man, you know you used to text me what hotel you was at or whatever. So that moment is going viral, man. Now, honestly, people saying go out joking, bro. <laughs> if you seen the look on Gucci's face, matter of fact, I'm going to screenshot. Look. Look at the look on Gucci's face, bro. This man turned back to the old goo out for a second, bro. I don't believe he lying, man. There's something there because there's used to be some stories about Angela you going around. Allegedly. And this allegedly happened. I'm trying to keep my butt from getting sued. This allegedly will happen. But let me know down in the comments. Y'all think this is true, man? Y'all think Angela you trying to get with the old Gucci, man? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Also, he spoke on Walker. He said him and Walker haven't spoken in four years, bro. That's a while, man. Think about it. Walk and Goose used to be close, bro. T-Boy were close, ride or die for each other, man. But he said they haven't spoken in four years. And when you don't speak to Goo Wop in four years, that door is closed no matter who you is. He also said, Soldier Boy, he wish him the best. He know he's a huge influence on his life. But that door is closed away well because, because he haven't spoken to him in years also. He also said he don't agree with what Soldier Boy going around here doing right now. Let me know what you think about the whole Walk and Gucci situation. What do you really think happened behind the scenes? Let me know down in the comments below. With all respect about those guys, they don't talk down on each other to the media, man. So those those are real brothers. Salute to them. Up next, we got that boy Soldier Boy. Now Soldier Boy got bailed out and took the Twitter last night. It was around about two in the morning, bro. I was up. I saw the whole thing. I didn't record on it because I was like, man, I got too much personal stuff going on. I got to handle. I handle this tomorrow when I get up. Anyway, he took the Twitter. He said, first day out. Fuck Quavo, Lil Yada, and Neil Riley. I ain't going nowhere. And he said, Quavo, allegedly, Quavo called the police on me. I was like, oh, man. Then he also said, I don't have a screenshot, but he said, he said, bump jail. I don't want to go back in there. Saying like, that ain't a place for him. Soldier, but I hope you do whatever it takes to stay out of jail, bro. I don't know if you got something personal going on behind the scenes that make you going crazy like this. Or are you stressing out about some 50 cents seem to think so. Shit be crazy out here, man. First soldier was like, Quavo wants some beef with me. A couple days later, he was like, Quavo called police on me. <laughs> Shit. You know what kind of gun they found? Mm -hmm. I hope they ain't find that Draco. Find something else. Don't find that Draco. <laughs> that shit. What? Anyway, fuck it, man. It's... I know that nigga's stressed. What the fuck? Niggas called the motherfucking 1-800 tips on that nigga? <laughs> what the fuck did you do, nigga? <laughs> Bruh, IG need to give 50 Cent his own reaction page. Time something go on, 50 Cent be the first person to react to it, bro. Anytime something go on between celebrities, 50 Cent get on IG and react to it and replay the scene, bro. Y'all remember when Future called did a bitch and called him an old nigga and was talking about Ciroc and all that? Fifty Cent was the first person to react to it, man. We got motherfucking Ciroc. Damn, we got all this nigga 
and y'all want Diddy to come to my room. He ain't even brought no shit up. I don't want that old ass nigga around me. He an old ass bitch. Anyway, uh, fam, I'm about to be out of here. I can't thank you guys enough, man. We close in on 40,000 subs. I'm on the four months saying, you guys accept my country slam. I'm be like, oh, I'll speak English. Bro, I got on here. I said, I'm going to do me. The people got to accept me for me. That means they got to accept my country slam, bro. That just facts, man. But you guys accept it. I can't thank you guys enough. Also, like I said, I'm coming from the bottom, fam. So I'm coming from the project. That don't mean I go out, go out and shoot everybody on some type of hood, nigga. I'm coming from the project, bro. It's just facts, fam. Don't let your circumstances hinder you. Let it motivate you, all right, fam. Anyway, follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description. Follow me on IG, at Related Ball, Ball. Sub to the channel if you haven't. Press that sub button. Press that bell beside it so you get a notification anytime I drop, son. I'm out here, all right, fam. Salute to y'all. Can't thank you guys enough again, man. I never go Hollywood in y'all, bro. I never diss a person to get on. I, I pay my respect, and I grind to get to the top. Salute to y'all. Up, uh, ball.